I'd like to show you my favorite pose for um, any of the knee injuries, and I went through three major ones of them. Uh, also, it is good for the hip injuries, for ankle injuries, and I have them all. Uh, it's not truly a pose, it's more movement, because joints, they are afraid of stillness. So, please remember, stillness is the worst thing that you can do for your joints. So, we're going to open up your feet wide apart. If you're not opening them wide, you're prone to the injury. We're opening your feet out. If it works, go to 180 degrees. So we're going to start squatting very gently. And if your feet are open not wide apart, this is not good. So our ideal distance between the feet, your alignment, not somebody else's alignment, not some type of generic alignment, your alignment, is the um, distance between the hip bone to the ankle bone. So this is how much it is for me, this is how much it is for somebody who's shorter, and, 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 and much more for somebody who's taller. So we're opening the feet, now some degrees apart. In the beginning it could be 45 degrees, could be just 30 degrees. Doesn't really matter as long as you start moving. So each exhalation we're squatting down a little bit in the beginning, inhaling we're coming up, exhaling, squatting down. So for me right now it's more comfortable this way. Also shoulders, we're gonna keep them just loosened up, chest is open, the posture is straight. But remember, no exaggerated curve, because if you open up your feet too much apart, you're gonna overcompensate with your lower back, you don't want this to happen. This is not good. This is not good. So, when you come up from your squatting, don't lock your knees, don't straighten them. So, exhaling, we're coming down. Inhaling, lifting up just a bit. Exhaling, coming down. Also, please remember, never ever ever come to your pain point. So for example, if for me pain point is here, I would stop right before it. And then later on, after a few repetitions, your pain point will move. So always listen, always feel. Okay, you can keep your arms loose enough, you can keep your fingers interlaced. Total up to you, or this way, whatever is more comfortable. In the beginning, 10 repetitions is more than enough. But if you are now, if you built it up to, let's say, 50. Oh, thank you. This is how you're going to finish now. So, hands to the top of the thighs, turning your feet parallel to each other. Now elbows to your thighs, not to the knees, thighs. Lowering your torso to be parallel to the ground. And we're gently, the key word here is gently, opening the thighs with the help of your elbows. And show it from the side. So, feet are parallel, opening, back is hopefully nice and straight. And then we're lowering the hands down, rocking your weight forward, walking back into gentle downward dog walking position. Again, the key word here is walking. Yeah. And slowly walking forward, and we're lifting up. Remember, under any circumstances, don't push. Progress slowly and 
gym. Regular. And if you want to have some fun at the end, you can also do this lifting up with you. a bit. Uh huh. And heels down, heels up. Heels down, heels up. Yeah, right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. 